Hi friends, welcome back to Circle Time. My name is Miss Kaya and today we're gonna to be talking all about transportation. What's transportation? Transportation is different ways that we can move around. So transportation could be going in a car, going in a boat, an airplane, a train. There's so many different types of transportation that we can take. Today we're gonna to be doing a really cool poem called Go, Go, Go with some actions. We're gonna do a really cool science experiment called Sink or Float. And of course, we'll be practicing our letters and numbers. And today we're gonna to start off with our big stretch, okay? So for our stretch, we are going to make sure there's no one close to us and that we're in a really safe space. So maybe if you're near a couch, just make sure you scoot up a little bit so that you have room around you, that there's no furniture around you, okay? Everything looks good to me. You can do the stretch standing up or sitting down like me, okay? Up to you. So first thing we do is we're gonna take our arms and stretch them up to the sky. Good job. You can wave to the sky, wiggle them around. Big stretch up to the sky. Good. Next, we're gonna take our arms and we're gonna make them like a kite. So a kite is like a diamond shape and we're gonna go over to the right. Awesome, just like that. Over to the right hand side. I can feel that nice stretch in my back. Good, slowly bring it back up to the middle and over to the left. Good job. We wanna be really gentle with our bodies. It shouldn't hurt. Good job, everyone. Next, we're gonna go backwards. So I'm gonna move up a little bit so I have room behind me and we're gonna go backwards. Put your head up to the ceiling very gently, looking backwards. Good job. Good stretch. That one was really nice. That was our waterfall. Next, we're gonna do the butterfly. So take our feet. I've got my teacher socks on. They have apples and books and pencils and rulers on them. Are you wearing silly socks today too? All right, let's do our butterfly. So we're gonna sit on the ground and we're gonna put our feet together like this. And we are going to shake our legs up and down. See my knees moving? We're flapping our legs just like butterfly wings. Awesome. Okay, now we're gonna take our knees and we're gonna push them down. Hi toes. We're gonna touch our toes now. So for this one, still sitting down. Sit up nice and tall and bend over and touch those toes. Nice work, everyone. Can you touch your toes this time? Good job. That was an awesome stretch. All right, let's sit crisscross. And we're gonna smell our cakes to practice our breathing. I think I had coconut last time. I think some of my friends also had chocolate cakes I heard. Do you like chocolate? I love to eat chocolate as a treat, so I think I'm gonna have a chocolate cake this time. What color or what flavor is your cake? All right, cakes in front of you. We're gonna smell them. And we're gonna blow out the candles. Good job. One more breathe in, smell your cake. And blow out the candles. Good job. Lastly, can you show me your smiles? Very nice. Good stretching, everyone. All right, we're gonna practice our letters and our numbers next. So we've been working in the alphabetical order to do our letters. Who remembers the first letter we practiced? Hmm, letter A. A is the first letter in the alphabet. And A is for, who remembers the animal? Ah, ah, alligator. A is for alligator. The second letter we practiced was B, B, B. B, B, B for bear, B, B, B. 
Awesome. The third letter we did was C. C is for cuff, cuff, cow. C is for cow. Hmm. What is the next letter? Our fourth letter in the alphabet is D, D, D. D for D, D, dog. Awesome. So we'll pop our letter of the day up there. D, D, day. Cool. D for dog and D for day. Does your name start with D? D for dad. D for dog, D for day. There's so many D letters we can think of. All right, letters are done. Let's move on to our numbers. Our first number we did was one. Can you show me one on your fingers? One. One flamingo. Then we did the number Two, two rhinos, one, two. Can you show me the number two on your fingers? Two, one, two. Awesome. The next one we had was three. Three turtles, one, two, three. Can you show me the number three on your fingers? One, two, three. Three. The next number is four. What animal do we have? Oh, I think these are like little peacocks. Four, let's count them. One, two, three, four. Can you show me four on your fingers? One, two, three, four. Awesome. Let's put our number four here. And let's see what our numbers look like in blocks so we can practice counting them again. One, one block. Two, two blocks. Three, three blocks, and four, four blocks. One, two, three, four. Good job, friends. We'll put our four blocks up here on our whiteboard. Okay, should we do our poem of the day? I think so. So this one is an action poem as well. So we'll go through it a couple times together so we can remember how it sounds and what the actions are together, okay? I've got my pointer here. It's matching my red dress today. Alrighty, oh, and it's matching my apples on my socks. Do you see my apples? Okay, we've got our pointer. The title of this poem is called Go, Go, Go. And it goes like this. First, we'll just do the words and then we'll do the actions and words, okay? Here we go. We can fly in a plane. We can ride on a train. In a boat, we will row. We can go, go, go. We go near, we go far. In a bus or a car, we go high, we go low. So where should we go? Okay, that's how the poem sounds. Now I'm gonna show you what the actions are. Ready? Our title is Go, Go, Go. We can fly in a plane. This is how planes fly, they have their wings. We can ride on a train. This is our train. Chugga, 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 chugga. In a boat we will row. This is how we row a boat, with our oars or our paddles. We can go, go, go. And for that, we're gonna pretend we're running. Go, go, go. 
We go near, near. We go far, far. In a bus, pretend you're driving with your steering wheel. Or a car, now honk your horn. We go high, point up. We go low, point down. So where should we go? Okay, should we do the words and the actions this time? Let's do it. I'm gonna put my pointer down so that we can do the actions together. Here we go. The title is Go, Go, Go. We can fly in a plane. We can ride on a train. In a boat, we will row. We can go, go, go. We go near, we go far. In a bus or a car, we go high, we go low. So where should we go? Awesome. So we can practice that one a few times if you watch this video again. On the bottom, I've drawn a few different types of transportation that's mentioned in our poem. I drew a boat in water. I drew a car on the road. I drew a train on the tracks and the airplane in the sky. All of these types of transportation can get us to different places. Some of them are a little bit slower than others and some of them are pretty quick. If you're in a boat, you might not be going that fast, especially if you're in like a canoe or a kayak. If you're on a car, you can go pretty fast. And same with the train, those go really fast and really far. And an airplane is probably the fastest. They go so fast. Have you ever seen an airplane in the sky? Have you ever been on an airplane? Where did you go? I've been on an airplane and I went to the beach. I've been to the mountains. I've been to lots of different places on a plane and a train and a car and a boat. So many different places. Okay, friends, should we do our science experiment? Does anyone remember what our science experiment is called today? Hmm. Let's see if I bring something over, if that jogs your memory. I'm gonna bring a prop over. Whoa. Okay, what do you think I have in here? Hmm, it's blue. I've got some water. Do you hear the splashing? Just some water with blue food coloring. Okay, we're gonna see what sinks and what floats. You can try this at home maybe in your bathtub or if you have a pool or maybe a little kiddie pool or you can even do it in a bin like this or in your sink. Just make sure you ask your parents to help you with this, okay? All right, so I have my big bin full of water and I wanna see what sinks and what floats. I'll show you what I have. So I have these trucks. This is a cement mixer. It's got a hole in the back where the cement can go. So when you're building roads or buildings, the cement can dump out of the back and the construction workers can use the cement to build things. I have a dump truck. Dump trucks are super helpful because they can carry really heavy things like big rocks or dirt, things that's very hard to carry and very heavy. So this dump truck, we can fill it up and we can dump it out like that. I also have a few cars. I have a racing car, like a go-kart. I've got this neat one and these ones are actually squishy. That's so interesting, they're squishy. Cars normally aren't squishy, are they? And I have, oops, I have a red one too that's also squishy. Hmm. And I have a garbage truck. 
I heard my garbage trucks outside my condo today too. Have you seen the garbage trucks outside your house or condo or apartment? I see them almost every day. They're really helping us out right now. All right, and I didn't have a little pretend boat, so I made one and I made it out of tin foil. Huh, so this is my little boat. Do we think our boat is going to sink or float? Hmm, should we find out? Let's put it in. It floats, cool. Should we see what else sinks and floats? Okay, let's do our go-kart first. Is our go-kart going to sink or float? Hmm, let's find out. Oh, it went right to the bottom and I saw bubbles coming from it. That one sunk. Hmm, let's try one of our squishy cars. Our squishy cars are pretty light. Do you think this will sink or float? Let's find out. It floated. Do you see it at the top? Whoa, cars don't, don't normally float. They're usually on the road. Let's find out with our garbage truck. He's not squishy at all. He's hard like the go-kart. So do you think this will sink or float? Let's find out. He sunk too. All the bubbles came out and that truck sunk. Okay, another squishy car. Hmm, if this squishy car was floating, do you think this squishy car is gonna float too? Let's find out. It floats. Okay, I've got some interesting ones. I have these really big trucks. Do you think they're gonna sink or float? Let's find out. Huh. Okay, this is interesting. This big dump truck is, is kind of like half floating. The wheels, let's move some of our other cars here so I can show my friends. The wheels are not touching the bottom. It's actually kind of floating. I had no idea it was gonna do that. That is so cool. Hmm, so this heavy dump truck actually kind of floats. Okay, let's see our cement mixer. I have no idea what's gonna happen. I don't know if it'll sink or float. Let's move our dump truck. Hopefully there's enough space and let's find out. Okay, cement mixer, what are we going to do? Huh, that one kind of floats too. What do you think? It kind of half floats, half sinks. That's really interesting. Maybe you can try this at home in the bathtub or in a sink or a pool or a big bin like this with your toys and see what sinks and what floats. Was that cool, friends? I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for joining me today in Circle Time. I'm gonna move this back and we'll do our goodbye song, okay? Okay, friends. Let's do our goodbye song. That was really cool, all that sinking and floating. Who remembers our goodbye song with the actions? Let's see if you remember it, ready? See you later, alligator. Give a hug, ladybug. Blow a kiss, goldfish. Bye-bye, butterfly. Be sweet, parakeet. See you soon, raccoon. One more time, ready? See you later, alligator. Give a hug, ladybug. Blow a kiss, goldfish. Bye-bye, butterfly. Be sweet, parakeet. See you soon, raccoon. Bye, friends. I'll see you very, very soon. Show me your silly socks. Oh, amazing. Bye, friends.